again and welcome to my studio and today we're going to be doing a beginner slash intermediate dance to zombie by the cranberries or bad wolves technically it's by the cranberries but i think the lyrics of this version this cover are bad wolves <laughs> and i say i think because i'm the person that covered the song so i i'm pretty sure i used the bad wolves version i just uh they're almost the same but i, I said 2018 so yes it's the bad wolves version but anyway Zombie is what we are doing today. I love this song. I hope you guys do too. It's just such a classic. Um, so this is beginner slash intermediate. It's pretty moderately, it's a pretty moderate tempo is what I'm trying to say, but like the steps are pretty intermediate, um, but you should be able to handle it at advanced beginner and lower level intermediate just fine. So anyway, I will stop rambling and we can start. <laughs> so we're working a lot in eighth notes today. So at the bottom, or bottom, I say bottom because when I recorded it, the track of the bottom track is what I'm talking about. Underneath the whole song is dun 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 and that's the rhythm that we're doing. One and two and three and four and. So just really focus on that low piano sound, okay? So it starts with paradiddle, paradiddle. So you've got big space. Then you have a double paradiddle. So all you're going to do for a double paradiddle is do the dig spank one extra time and then the paradiddle. Dig spank, dig spank, spank. So just an extra dig spank at the beginning. So you've got one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and then you end it with a stamp. So paradiddle, paradiddle, double paradiddle, stamp. Let's try it. Ready? Five, six, seven, go. One and two.
tried it, we saw how it fit together. Now let's try it again and make it just a little bit better. First time we try it, we haven't heard it with the music yet, so it's never gonna be good. <laughs> it's always gonna be like, whoa, wait. <laughs> now this is the time to go, okay, let's let's keep it, let's keep this going. Let's 
try for the shuffle ball change. Five, six, seven, one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Try to do it. One more time, then we'll add it on. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, Great slow tempo to practice your Cincinnati's too. All right, let's try it from the top before Sayuri starts sneezing again. All over my computer. But yeah, let's do it. So you're going to have to switch your rhythm in your head. It's one and two and three and four and, and then five and a six and a seven and a eight. So it's, it's you just have to switch it into the triplet mode. Let's try it again. We got this. This time make it just a little bit more comfy. Right, left, right, and then a paradiddle. 
So it's a right crampural, right paradiddle, left crampural, left paradiddle. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. triple buffalo. So that last part is just When I say she's needy, if you ever hear me say that my cat is needy, this is what I mean. She does not care that I'm tap dancing while I hold her. I need some wood. Alright, let's try from cramp roll. So it's five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and a two, three and a four, five and a six and a seven. One more time. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. through the whole thing from the beginning. She's purring so loud. Let's walk through the whole thing from the beginning and then <laughs> we will do it with music. I know what I'm talking about kind of. I'm very distracted. Look at her. <laughs> All right, five, six paradiddles go. One, two, three. Yeah, it's crazy. All right. I know. I know you don't want to go down. I know. But I got it. All right. Let's do it from the top. I'm not editing any of that out. That was too cute. switching between the eighth and the triplet. It's a great one for practicing musicality. 
All right, let's try it again. This time, make it just a little bit better. choose this song to be released today because I did realize that I was going to have a choreography release day on this particular day. So I wanted to find something that was appropriate and I felt like this song is beautifully appropriate. So in honoring the day. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button and join the TAP fam. We've got choreography tutorials like this, technique exercises, step tutorials, Vlogs, challenges, advice, everything you can need, including cats. Yes, we have cats. <laughs> so we have all of that, and it's all free, and it's all for you, right, Sayuri? And we are your YouTube tap teachers, and we love it. Right? We love it. She's kind of mad at me for putting her down. <laughs> oh, way to go. All right. Um, also, I'll have the cover information down below. You can find the full version of the cover on my music channel, which is Jen Jams, so you can... Find all that information in the description. And yeah, you ready to do the outro? Oh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up for Sayuri. Hit that thumbs up button for Sayuri because she deserves a big thumbs up. And can you believe she's, she'll like let me hold her while I'm tap dancing? Most cats can't even stand the sound. It's incredible. All right, all right, all right. We'll go cuddle. All right, thank you guys so much. Um, don't forget to hit that thumbs up for Sayuri. And as always, thank you for dancing with me.